we're doing, I think, is very, very important to help this species recover because, first of all, we'll be able to, to help uh, delineate where they're spawning, when they're spawning, which has been a big question mark over the, the years. And like this is the beginning, this is the foundation of that. The specific study that, uh, that we just published um, basically uh, documented for the first time that Atlantic sturgeon, in addition to what we think is a spawning event in the spring, that there's also a spawning event in the fall. And that might seem kind of trivial, but you have to remember that these are, these very large fish are also migratory. They don't live in the James River. They live most of their life out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and they come in just to spawn. So the fact that that members of the population are making this trip maybe twice uh, is, is, is important. The more fish we catch, the more tags we can get out, the more genetics clips we get, we can tell the size of the population from genetics clips. We can find out what reach of the river are they spawning. Are they spawning right here? Are they 20 river kilometers upstream? Are they spawning a little bit downstream? Who knows? So these tags are, are very important into us delineating that. We know that sturgeon used to be in all of the Chesapeake Bay rivers, or probably all of them, but now we're down to one. It's only the James River that still supports sturgeon. And if we could figure out what was unique about the James, then that would help us to hopefully make some changes in some of the other river systems that would support expansion of, uh, of the population. There he is! Three eighty six LL for lower lobe. What we just did when you tag this fish, I mean, it's just like you're gonna get so much data from one fish. So for ten years, this guy will be pinging at two nine one eight eight. We'll be able to determine how the population is doing by seeing how many tag returns we get. The key to re to uh, reestablishing a population all in the Chesapeake Bay, the James, the York, the Raft, the Potomac. It's starting here. It reinforces this idea that uh, what we do in Richmond or what we might do in uh, Goochland County or someplace else within the James River watershed really does have an effect in all these different systems. Ecological systems are linked and connected in some ways. So for me, the sturgeon is the best example of that.